Hi everybody. Weddings are special. So special that God even uses the example of a bride and a groom to explain his relationship with us, the church. Well, I know of a wedding that happened last weekend. Our own pastor's daughter was married. Yay! But I also heard of a wedding that was suddenly called off. All the same things were put in place for both. A dress, a suit, flowers, food, even guests. But one took place and one will not. But you know what? I know that God is guiding both. How do I know that? I know the brides and I know they love Jesus. And I know that their families are seeking God's will in their lives. When we are spending time getting to know Jesus better and asking the Holy Spirit to guide us in the way that we should go, we can relax when things go our way and when things don't. The Apostle Paul had that experience when the Holy Spirit directed his missionary journey a direction he had not planned to go. But when he followed the leading of the Holy Spirit, he came upon a woman named Lydia. And when he shared the truth of Jesus with her, she believed, she and her household, and they were baptized. And then she took care of Paul and his friends. God has given us his Holy Spirit, first to help us believe, and then to guide us in the way that he wants us to go, to do the things that he has for us to do. He made a plan for our salvation. His one and only son, Jesus, came to be our savior and earned forgiveness and eternal life for us by dying on a cross to pay for our sins and then rising again to conquer death. And now all of us who believe receive those free gifts of grace, forgiveness, and eternal life. And thankfully, go forward to share them with others.